Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I want to talk to you guys about editing and a little more in detail about formatting the individual cells in a worksheet but before I begin I want to mention one thing in a lot of these upcoming videos what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working with a bunch of data that I either downloaded from the internet or maybe I just made it up off the top of my head just a bunch of sample data and instead of taking like five minutes and typing it all in which would be an incredible waste of time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these files and post them on my website so you guys can just download them for free so if you go to this link right here or if you go to my forum in the Microsoft category it's a thread called example files again there's only one link in here right now but eventually once I start making more videos and start making uh, you know more projects there's gonna be all of my example files that I'm working with so for right now just click on this one it's called fantasy hockey game and that's what this is right here so open it up and this is what you'll see so again none of those are gonna cost anything they're all gonna be free don't worry about it it just saves you a bunch of time from typing everything out actually I gotta tell you guys a story real quick when I was in college um this was a few years ago I took a class in Excel and for like half an hour at the beginning of each lesson my teacher put it was like a slide of this up on the big board and he made us type it all out and I'm like dude you're a computer teacher just like send us the files and also if we missed anything like if we spelled anyone's name wrong then he would take points off I'm like this class sucks and that's why I eventually well I eventually dropped out of college not because of that but because of dumb things like that so you know I just had to vent a little bit my bad alright so for this it really doesn't matter what type of data you have since we're just gonna be like clicking cells learning how to use them but I'll explain to you guys what this is real quick if you I don't know if you're just curious I play a game online because I'm a big hockey fan so this game that I play online that's where this data is from and what it is is every player starts out with fifty thousand dollars it's just pretend money really wish I had fifty thousand dollars real money but with a fifty thousand dollars you pick whatever players you think are gonna do good that night and the players that usually do better for example this guy's pretty good Zach Parise he's uh, worth seven thousand eight hundred dollars the players that usually don't do that good like John Moore he's a defense or a, he's a defenseman he only scores like one and a half point each night so he only costs twenty five hundred dollars so again that's what the game is it doesn't really matter this is just an example but if anyone was wondering um, that's what data you're looking at right now so let's go ahead and start learning what well, you know I meant to teach in this tutorial so the first thing I want to explain to you guys is this we already learned last time how to insert data in cells you pretty much click a cell until it becomes the active cell and you type something in there like Bucky and look at that I just spelled my name wrong so the first thing that we should learn is how to get data out of the cells or how to delete data well it's pretty simple pretty intuitive all you do is you select the cell and you hit delete on your keyboard simple enough now you can also delete a range of cells at one time so select a multiple range and hit delete and of course this deletes the data in the cell and another thing that you can do is if you actually um, highlight an entire column like this and hit delete it deletes all of the data in that column now if you hit control Z let me undo that say that you wanted to do this say that you just didn't want to make all of these cells blank but you actually just wanted to get rid of this entire column because I really don't care about this game info let's say I really don't need it for whatever program I'm making now if I just highlight that and hit delete I'm left with a blank column and it doesn't look that great so instead what I can do is right click this column and hit delete and it gets rid of it completely like it never existed so that's the difference between right clicking and delete and the delete button on your keyboard so another thing that I want to show you guys how to do is how to edit um, some data in a column 
So say that this guy's name was spelled incorrectly, which it isn't, this is the correct spelling, but say that his name was Darcy Cooper. So if you ever click this and just start typing, what it's going to do as soon as you start typing is it's going to clear everything out and start it from scratch. Now sometimes that's not what we want. Sometimes we just want to edit part of this without having to delete everything. Look at that as soon as we start typing. So how do we do that? Well, in order just to edit the contents of the cell without deleting anything, you can either just double click it and what what's that going to do is it's going to put your cursor right in there so now you can move around and put I don't know maybe something like that Darcy Cooper another thing that you can do is you can just select a cell and hit F2 now if I do that it accomplishes the same thing so again double click or select a cell and hit F2 and the last way and this is how I always edit is if you select a cell you can just edit it right on top here this is called the formula bar and I don't know why I like it so much maybe because it gives you a little more control like you can expand it and contract it if you want it's just uh, I don't know I'm more comfortable working with a big area than I am in a little cell so again three different ways if you just want to edit that inside a cell double click it or select it and press F2 or just select it and edit whatever you want in the formula bar right up there now another cool tip that actually even people that have been working with Excel for a long time they really don't um, I guess I noticed that they really don't do this too often whenever you want to add data to multiple cells at once this is what you do you select a range of cells just like this and you can start typing your data like Bucky now if you hit enter it only adds the data to that very first cell the active cell that you selected even though you selected a range of cells like this so in order to add my name Bucky to all of these cells at once this is what I do select these multiple cells type whatever I want to add and then if I hold down control on my keyboard and hit enter check it out it fills in all of those cells with whatever I typed in that very first cell so again type your data hold down control and hit enter and boom you're good to go now the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this this is something that annoys a lot of people so I figured that I'll show you right now actually let's go ahead and delete this because it's annoying me select it all hit delete whenever you're working in a spreadsheet program and you want to add um, text to multiple lines within the same cell you might think you'd do something like this so say that I wanted to type um I don't know what I just type my name again so Bucky and then within the same cell within F1 I wanted to move to a new line and type uh, I don't know something about myself so I would just go ahead and hit enter and, oh, crap look at that it actually moved me down a whole cell and I just wanted to move to a new line in this cell so I can't hit enter and that's usually what I do in most programs so in order to accomplish that what you want to do is double click the cell that you wanna add multiple lines to and whenever your cursor gets to the point where you actually wanna to move to the next line hold down alt and hit enter on your keyboard now as you can see instead of just moving your active cell to the next line it stays in that same active cell F1 but now you can type something like Roberts hit enter and check it out now F1 is made up of multiple lines pretty stinking sweet if you ask me so again that's alt enter and what that does is it allows you to move multiple lines or type multiple lines in the same active cell pretty stinking sweet thank you guys for watching that's all I have for this tutorial the next tutorial is actually gonna be really cool so don't forget to check it out I'll see you then